Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our Windows 10 and Windows 11 optional bug fix C release updates rolling out for February, which for Windows 10, the update started rolling out late yesterday in my region on the 25th of February. Now the updates are optional, so you do not have to install the updates that roll out in the last week of the month. And as I always say, and just another quick heads up, only install optional updates if you are experiencing any issues with your OS, else just ignore the update. Now, once the update has been installed, if you do decide to install uh, this month's update for Windows 10, the update is KB5052077, and this is more or less the same update that was in preview a couple of days ago and has now made its way into the stable version, um, and I posted on that a couple of days ago. Now, at its heart and core, this is really a bug fix update. It's a non-security update that includes quality improvements, according to Microsoft. And we get a couple of highlights, and just to mention these quickly. This update supports DSD changes in Paraguay. And then Narrator, which is an accessibility feature, as you may well know. So if we head back into our settings, ease of access, and we click on Narrator, is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen. And for Narrator, we get three fixes, all for the Chinese IME. So that's the Chinese Input Method Editor. And so if you are region specific and you are experiencing any issues with Chinese IME, then just make sure that you get this update sooner than later. Now that's according to Microsoft um, are the key highlights. And we get a couple of other improvements that have rolled out. And we get one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to mention three, which I think you may be interested in that the update addresses. The first one is quite important because there's a fix for the desktop window manager, dwm.exe, which is quite an important component of the Windows operating system because it's responsible for things like your uh, thumbnail previews, just to mention one example. And apparently dwm.exe stopped responding many times. So that's quite an important fix and that's um, rolled out with this update. Then there is a country and operator settings asset improvement where the update brings the country and operator settings asset profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. And then there's a known issue that's been addressed with 5052077. And that's the open SSH open secure shell where the service was failing to start, which stops SSH connections and the and there is no detailed login and you must then run the sshd.exe process manually. So that's quite an important fix as well. So, so those are the fixes uh, that have rolled out with our latest optional update. And then just to make you aware of something I did notice that wasn't mentioned in the release notes. And for this, we're going to head back into our settings, system, and going to head down to optional features. And I did notice today after the update was applied that it added the accessibility braille support feature to the OS, which um, as you may well know, if you click on, you can remove it. Um, you can remove all of these optional features. But I thought that was interesting where that wasn't there yesterday and it was here after the update. So just bring that to your attention. If you do rely on Braille support, that that feature has been added now as an optional feature to Windows 10. And if you do decide to install the update, if we just head over to Winver once again, which is our about um, Windows dialog and menu, just to get that build upgrade. For Windows 10 22H2, OS build is sitting on 19045.5555 after this update has been applied. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.